Alright, it's Norman again playing the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion for the Xbox 360. And I'm going to show you all there is to know about Frostcrag Spire, a downloadable castle house thing you can get from the marketplace. It's always snowing. On the map, it is east of Burma, north of the Imperial City. Uh, it's just right here, if you can see it at all. Not very good quality, I know, but bear with me. Got a little trudge to get up to the door. It's pretty odd looking, isn't it? Alright. Originally, it was supposed to be a big wall right here. You know what? I'll let you check it out if you think this place is worth your money. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, the way to get from room to room is uh, teleporting in these things. The vault, this is supposed to be completely empty, but uh, you got to buy stuff just like any standard house in Oblivion. And now uh, there's a bunch of containers, these vault guardians, which are basically imps with a different name. They won't attack you unless you attack them. Uh, some tombs, but I'll let you find out what they do. They're pretty nifty. Uh, you got some wine here, some more barrels to store stuff in. I just put that, that there for kicks. It's kind of floating there. Weird. Yeah. It's re really good if you like to organize stuff. Uh, there's not supposed to be any books here, but since I bought the extra stuff, I've got books. Altar of Enchanting, Altar of Spellmaking, they are yours. The only way to use these, other than buying this place, is to join the Mages Guild and use theirs. If you if you don't have this house and you're not part of the Mages Guild, you gotta buy you gotta buy spells. You cannot make your own, and you gotta buy enchantments. You can't make your own. Um, you gotta buy these here candles from the right person in order to use these. It doesn't cost all that much. And the person that you buy it from, their mercantile skill is novice, so you can get stuff for really cheap. Achanok Altar, you can uh, summon Achanoks as long as you got enough of these frost salts and stuff like that. These aren't supposed to be here, I just put them for giggles. Not really. Um, yeah, let's go to the living area. Once again, there's originally nothing here, not even a bed. Uh, but, again, I said about everything. You step here, you got alchemical brilliance, you got an extra 15 points to your alchemy skill. Step away, and the alchemical brilliance is gone. Uh, well, I don't think you have to buy the extra stuff in order to have this. You got a bunch of different plants to pluck stuff from if you like to make poisons or potions. Don't worry about stepping stepping in here because the Harada roots and the spitall sticks are harmless. See it says domesticated spitall sticks. Um, little bed. Yep. When you step out here, I know it's raining, it's pretty crummy right now, but every so often when you come out here, it's really clear and you can see, oh, you can see for a long ways out, you know, it's fell down there. You can see down to Broome over there, the Imperial City down there, and you can see the mountains around you. It's a gorgeous sight. And then these teleport things, you can go to any major city, just click on these. Unfortunately, you can't go to any mages guild to this place, but other than that, you know, these are really handy. Go mages guild, Lewin, Jaden Hall. Imperial City, the Arcane University, all there. Um, oh, this jewelry box. In here is a ring that gives you an extra 10 points to um, all of your magical skills like uh, um, destruction, mysticism, stuff like that. Uh, which box did I have? In? I'll show you now. I think it's in this one. Should be. I like to collect magical items. I don't really know why. Where is that ring? That's not it. Ring of wisdom.
wizardry. Okay, fortify alchemy, alteration, conjuration, destruction, illusion, mysticism, and restoration by 10 points on self. Just gotta wear it. Pretty nifty. I like to collect stuff. I put my nerd roots in here. Uh, different kinds of arrows. Stuff that I've got to sell but I haven't gotten around to it. Uh, extras in case I need some extra arrows. I got over a thousand steel arrows here. And some uh, repair hammers. Yeah, these guys are harmless. I think that's it. I'd really like to show you the the incredible view, but um, I've already tried that. I tried waiting a few hours, not in real life. I just press the select button. I could choose how often, how long I want to wait. But yeah, just you get lucky every net one now and again. You don't see the rain or the fog. You can just see out for a, a hell of a long ways. Magnificent sight. Well, I think that's all there is to show you. It's a really good place, trust me. This is my this is my main home right here. Whenever I'm finished uh, going out in caves and getting stuff I gotta sell, finishing quests, I always come here to uh, organize and regroup, get more arrows and whatnot. So, yeah, this place is really, really useful, believe me. Buy at the marketplace. Alright, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you want. Uh, see you later.